welcome back to the diaries. If there is anybody in the house, please let me know if you are here. I had a little bit of trouble with the microphone. So please let me know if you are here. So, um, like I said, Storm did an after show yesterday. He reported on Gabby Sidibe and her new boo. Um, and he basically was shading her because she is heavy set. You know, how could the white boy actually be attracted to Gabby? You know, she better get a baby out of him because, um, you know, she's fat and black and he's white and he only was, you know, dealing with her because she's an actress and she's in Hollywood. He basically is social climbing. So Storm said a lot of little bullshit last night that I really wasn't happy with and it basically made my skin crawl. So um, it actually shed some light on who he is as a person. Um, So I'm going to let you hear some of this. And like I said, I'm screaming fair use Storm. So don't be trying to come after me with some goddamn strikes because it's fair use. Um, okay, um, can, so can you hear Lato Latoya? Just let me know if you can hear me now. Let me know if you can hear me here on Sweet Pea Speaks because um, I'm actually just trying to work out the kinks. So let me know if you can hear me and then let me know if you can hear Storm's voice. Okay, can you hear Storm now? Let me know if you can hear Storm now. You can't hear him? Okay, let me see. All right, let's see. Okay. We're going to see if we can do it a different way. So give me a moment. Um, We're going to see if we can do it a different way. It could be the program. So just give me a second. Um, I have a better way I could do it. How's everybody Thanksgiving? Okay, now we're going to see if we can do it like this, all right. It was good, Toya. Bully, okay. uh, bully for what? For everything. It's, it's a long way. Can you hear it now? It's it's a long oh, ass story. A lot of a lot of stuff was dumb. A lot of, you know, you got to understand when you roll. Did you watch okay. BET Uncut? No, look, that's none of your business. But now, like when you roll by yourself, uh, I guess I guess the show is gonna be an hour long. When you roll by yourself, like a lot of people don't get you. I am somebody that people don't get because I I am not 
like anything you meet. It's just it's just the truth. And so, you know, my mama did not buy Jordan. She didn't buy. I mean, I wore like the Tommy Hill figures and the white brands before it got cool. No shade, but I did, right? And so it's just, I just didn't fit in. But I was meant to stand out. Now I'm, yep, every episode of Roseanne. But I'm glad I didn't fit in because God didn't, God didn't make me that way. But some so now I'm here to let Stormy should know something. All right. So now it it just is odd, you know, that this boy seems to think that black people and black kids teased him because he wore Tommy Hilfiger shoes to school like it was not something. Yes, we don't wear Tommy Hilfiger shoes. We wear Jordans, we wear Nikes, we wear New Balance sneakers. We don't wear Tommy Hilfiger shoes. So the fact that you said you wore Tommy Hilfiger shoes before they was cool, boy, the fact that you thought it was something cool about Tommy Hilfiger shoes, it shows me right there why your ass was being bullied. But I'm going to let you have that. I'm going to let you keep it going. Sometimes I do get concerned because I'm like, God, I hope I didn't become the bully. Um, Storm, were you outspoken? Like you were, no, I just didn't speak to anybody. Mm -mm. I just didn't speak to anybody at all. I just did me. I just read my books, did me. But no, I didn't, I didn't talk to people. Storm, you an indigo child. I don't know what that means. And my thing is, like, you don't always have to talk. Like, like, silence is a beautiful thing. Like, people that do this all the time, they trip themselves up, tell all their business, and then wonder why it's in the street. Well, hell, you done told everybody everything. You can't shut up. The power of this shut up is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. A shy loner. I wouldn't even call it shy. I just wasn't interested in talking to people. I really don't like people. I don't know how people always think you weak because you don't want to do. No, I bitch, I don't, not you, but I'm saying to them, I don't like you. People that I'm related to, I don't like you. Now, that was another thing that made my skin crawl. Now, if I was a storm chaser, I would be like, nigga, it's time for me to jump off the ship. If you're literally telling people that you don't like people, so you're basically using people for clicks and views, you're you're catering to an audience of overzealous old ass women that basically look at you, think that you some type of knight in shining armor, because I've been looking at these comments that of these women that Storm has as an audience. And they are not young women, they are not middle, you know, younger, um, you know, popping, you know, vibrant young adults. They are middle-aged, older black women that are probably in the church or probably single, lusting after his ass, you know, thinking that he is some, you know, they be asking him, he need to teach dating classes and have a dating show and all this because they look at him and they think that he's somehow some type of successful black man and he need to be teaching the black men how to be because this is what, the type of man that they're looking for. But this is my problem with Stormisha. He will not tell these women that he is gay. He is not bi, he is not straight. This man is gay. He just said the power of the shut up is a powerful thing. And that's why his persona, he's been able to hide for so long because he's been able to be quiet. He's one of them type of dudes that you know what he does in his private life, he keeps it quiet. He deal he, he strikes me as the type of dude that would deal with white men because he's been hurt by the black community. They've te teased him, they teased him about his little Tommy Hill figure shoes. 
you know, because his mom couldn't afford Jordans. She couldn't afford the popular type of clothes and stuff like that. So he's grown to hate his race and hate himself. And y'all give his ass clicks and views and likes and, and, and subscribe to his Patreon when he don't even like y'all. This man just said he don't even like people. He don't even fuck with y'all. And y'all over there, y'all go to war for Stormisha. Oh, he's straight. He's straight. Why are you saying this about him? He's straight. And like I said, if you don't like, you know, um, bullying or if you think this is bullying session or if you think this is a read or I'm Dragon Storm, you need to get up off my channel right now because I am not bullying Storm. I'm not Dragon Storm. I'm simply pointing out a few things that I saw in this live last night with him. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if... Tasha is over there driving you crazy and you somehow regret what you have done to become famous on YouTube. But instead of you being a vibrant young person that is out in the streets on Thanksgiving, you are laying in your bed talking to a, a, a group of horny ass, old ass women that you don't even like. Boy, get it together. What is your problem? I don't like your existence on earth. I don't like you. That is why I don't talk to you. I only deal with people, and I've always been good with this. I've only, I only, I've, I've been a social climber. I only deal with people that's like worth my time. Damn, like I just, I'm so, like, I'm not sorry. I don't like you. I don't like you. Mm -hmm. He just that's using just me. People. Then now I can look back and realize a lot of people be jealous that you can stand on your own. It's strong. It's 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 tough to stand on your own. Why did you feel comfortable at white schools? Because I was able to be myself and didn't have no issues. So he felt as though he was able to be himself at white schools. He didn't have no issues. He was able to be himself because he was weird. He was shaped funny. He looked funny. He probably is just growing into his looks now that he is older. And that's just how some people are. Some people look funny when they're young. You know, some people, and if you were born or if you lived in Arizona, I know how that is to live on the West Coast and be black. You know, because I grew up in California and I grew up in a sheltered environment on the Air Force Base. I was the only child. Same thing. I can relate to that storm. So I know you didn't like yourself. You grew up, them, them black kids made you not like yourself. And you now have a problem with black people. That's why you're able to get on here and say the things that you're saying about your own race and have no problem saying it. Ain't that some? I'm not saying white kids and talk to this shit, but I'm just saying I was able to be myself and not be picked apart piece by piece. And even as an adult, I make content for black people. And, and, and guess what? We're very. But now as an adult, I realize we as a people were very hard on one another. Very hard. And expect like what we have to stop doing as a people is to treat everybody as a monolith and then get mad when other people treat you as a monolith. Can't be fake, but only did with the real and never follow trends. Thank you. I had some friends, but they, they were real. He, he is a Blu-ray star. See, I literally don't know what that means. And see, he, he got be. these weird ass people in his channel. These weird ass women. They're talking about Blu-ray. Uh, you're you're a number seven. You're a star. You're. They talking about dumb shit. He's got his audience are weird ass women, and this is what I'm saying. People that normal people do not relate to, and I don't see how it is 158 thousand of you motherfuckers out there that are weird. Y'all are weird. Your your audience is weird. He may be a wolf animal spirit. I wonder if he's animal a seven spirit, life like, path in numerology. I don't know, but my favorite number is seven. It's got these weird Wait, ass bitches out here. From my old license plate in Arizona. I mean, seven, seven inches. I'm just saying. Um, 
a lot of people are followers. Yeah, I'm just not. I was the same way, but people still wanted to befriend me. Mm. What is yourself being yourself? Um, not talking ghetto. I mean, reading books. Like, guys, I literally would like be reading books and the black kids would be like, here, here, I'm I'm gonna tell you. Now, this is the part that is, if you're triggered, because I'm going to read his ass to filth on this shit. Now, how the fuck do you feel like black being yourself was not being ghetto and reading books? So what you saying, black people, you know, um, we don't, we, because we don't, what we don't read books and that's not being ourselves. Black people don't read books and we're ghetto. So you're somehow stands apart because you read books and you didn't talk ghetto. Now, listen at this dumb shit that he about to say. Y'all gonna fall that way, man. So, uh, I guess you know your daddy, huh? You must know your daddy. Is your daddy still with your mama? I'm like, then me, I would say, uh, yeah, I know my daddy. You don't know yours. Now there's an issue because I've now insulted them and I have no clue. Uh, now, I'm, I don't know where the fuck you are from. I don't know if you're from some type of alien nation or whatever, but black boys and black kids do not talk like that. And this is y'all storm chaser leader that he gets up here and he insults the black race that he is a part of and say, so you know your daddy, you must know your daddy. As if to say, black kids don't know their fathers, that they grow up in homes and they're ratchet and ghetto and they don't know their daddies. So because they teased you, because first of all, black little boys don't talk like that. So if you was dealing around black boys and they was teasing you, they wasn't saying no shit like that because black boys don't talk like that. They don't pop their lips and they don't give a fuck about whether you know your daddy or not. And notice you didn't say, did you live with your daddy? You said, did you know your daddy? Because your ass didn't live with your dad either. Your mom was a single mom, just like any other black mother was. So you somehow insinuate that black kids don't know their daddies. And this is that shit that you do, that you act like you're set apart from the black race, that you are somehow better than black people. But this is the nigga that y'all subscribe, like, and share. He be on that shady shit. What's another one? And it, it would be every time I would wear something new, it would just be critiqued from head to toe, every haircut. It, I'm just like, why? Like, I couldn't get people to stop looking at me, even though I didn't want to look at the Look at these people. Leave me alone. They just can't stop talking to me. Another one. Mm, you must think you cute. Hmm. Okay. So the popping of the lips, you know, these people, who are these people? Why are you set apart? from the black race why why are you set apart from the other black kids oh you must think you're cute so i don't know if it was little girls teasing you because it damn sure wasn't no little black boys teasing you because they would not say you think you cute that is not something that black boys say so you up here embellishing and lying you're basically saying shit that you think black kids say ain't no goddamn way they said this type of shit to you they did tease your ass i ain't gonna lie i know they teased you because if you wore tommy hill figure shoes and i'm gonna show y'all them goddamn shoes later on if you wore white tommy hill figure shoes I, oh yes, you did get your ass teased because our black children we put our kids in jordan's uh, New Balance, Nikes, Reeboks. We put our kids in the latest trends, clothes, shoes, and I don't give a fuck whether we're poor, don't got money, welfare, or what. Black people are known for wanting the best, dressing the best, sending their kids to school, fly with haircuts, weaves, every goddamn thing. So I don't know where you're from, and I'm sorry that your mother and your father did not love you enough to make sure that you did not get teased when you went to school and didn't give a damn what you wore. And they sent your ass to school with Tommy Hilfiger shoes on. Because the black people that I know and the black people that I'm around, we don't send our children to school to be teased. 
And if we know they're not looking right from head to toe, we at least want to make sure that they're going to school and whether they learning shit or not, they're going to be dressed right. So you sit up here time and time again and always trying to separate yourself from the black race and act like you're somehow better than somebody. And this is the shit that you did when you got on YouTube. You wanted it so bad. You wanted to be YouTube famous that you went over there with Tasha and now you're lonely, bored, laying up in the bed on a holiday weekend, talking to a bunch of lonely, grown ass, hypersexualized women that are lusting after your ass, probably playing in their ass, looking at you, think, oh, look at your skin. Your, your beard is glowing. You glowing, Storm. The dumb shit they be saying in the comments. Ain't no bitches in the comments talking about, yeah, doing nothing. Oh, what's up? Hair flip or none of that shit. They in the comments talking about books and stars and number sevens because you're not, you don't have no pizzazz, no know nothing about your ass you just a basic ass bitch oh huh, i guess that shirt is new hmm. you must think you cute mm -hmm. i guess that shirt is new you must think you cute ain't no little boys talking then like gotta that you gotta understand by me being the only kid like my mother was very strict and so there was no extracurricular activities there was no i had literally no bonding time with boys there was none of that. Because how do boys bond? They're, they bond in sports. Now, I didn't want to do the football thing. Uh, I was too short for basketball. Uh, I just never had an interest in baseball. And then I just, mm -mm, I ain't fin mm, that wasn't my thing. But I had always wanted to do like martial arts. Well, guess what? In order to do things, you got to have somebody to take you. You got to have somebody to pick you up. Like, my mother also had zero support. So it's just standing on my own is something I've always done. So your mother didn't have, you didn't have, she didn't have no support. She couldn't pick you up and you couldn't do sports because your dad wasn't around. But your mom, it was no support. But the other kids that were in the same situation, it was they didn't know they daddy. They didn't know they daddy. You, I, you know your daddy? See, that's that bullshit. That's that, that high yellow shit that, you know, house nigga shit that y'all house niggas do. Act like you're better and set apart from the rest of the black race. But the bonding thing with boy, I've never, I've never had that. You must have been, you must have went to ghetto school. Here is the issue. Hmm, now, let me mess up your head up again. So I I transferred schools between 13 to 14 times in my high school career. Like I have moved a lot. Now, if your ass was moving 13 to 14 times in your high school career, that tells me that your mom was having a very hard time. She either wasn't making enough money. She was in some other type of career that wasn't providing enough for you and her that she had to move 13 or 14 times. And just in high school, high school is only a four year, you know, activity. It's only a four year curriculum. So the fact that you moved 13 or 14 times, that is a lot. So you did not bond with anybody. You probably don't, you know, you didn't have, you know, um, the luxury like other black kids did that grew up in the projects, grew up in neighborhoods where they knew everybody and they actually went to school and had social skills. They went to school from grade school, middle school, high school, and they still know these people to this day. You, on the other hand, bounced all around with your high sedity ass mom and you knew your daddy. But the kids that was ghetto that didn't know their daddy. They were stable, stayed in one place the whole time and went to school with everybody and still know them to this day. You don't know nobody. You don't have no type of bond, didn't don't have no social skills with men, with boys, because you you didn't learn how to do that as a young child. And that tells me a lot about your relationships now. That's why you don't get along with Sean. You don't get along with our mom. It was easy for you to get over there with Tasha and do the bullshit you did because you're used to doing that. You have set yourself apart since you were in school. So you, you jumped on YouTube and you did the same thing, thinking you were better than. So with that being said, I've also never had a core group of friends. See? I was always the new person in school. And I could just come 
right in. <clears throat> and I guess I was a charmer because I could come right in and your teacher would love me. Your teacher, your teacher would love me. Your teacher would love me. So it was a lot of hateration and you don't fit in. And, 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 and then it's like, oh, but you got to be gay. And it's just like, I got to be gay because I'm not on the football team. Wait, I got to be gay because I don't play a sport. Sport where another guy's on top of me. Okay. Oh, 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 all right. And then there's that beige ass hiding that I'm gay shit. Now, you know damn well football is not a gay sport. Football, men that play football are not secretly gay or not jumping on top of each other or piling up on top of each other. That's that shit that people that are hiding, that are in the closet, that are making sure I don't appear gay. I didn't play a sport that was been on top of me. Boy, football ain't got shit to do with men being on top of each other. So you just digging a hole for yourself in this shit and don't even, and y'all, like I said, y'all overzealous storm chasers, not even paying attention to the shit this boy is saying out of his mouth. This boy is gay. He's in the closet and he don't want nobody to know because he feels as though he will lose fans. He will lose Tasha. He will lose support. He's not even going to say he's bi. He's just not because he knows what he is. This boy is in therapy. He is trying to come to grips with who he is. He had a tough childhood. He was bullied. He looked weird. He was short. He had the, the long arms and the little neck and the, the, the big head. He had a funny ass shape wearing Tommy Hilfiger little white shoes. Basically, people my whole life has always tried to figure me out and you won't be able to. Not that easily. And then I had with then I didn't know it then, but like I've been told I have a smart mouth. So when you have a smart mouth too, like when you don't say nothing, um <clears throat> let me give you an example, right? Imagine going to school with somebody like Kaya, right? But Kaya didn't talk. I'm sure that Kaya was not like this in school. But imagine if she didn't talk. And the one day she pit the one day you pissed her off, she read you like she read Bobby Lights. Now, first of all, you are imagining who you are because if you went to school with whatever type of clothes on that you thought were flashy and new, with white Tommy Hilfiger patent shoes, you wasn't no goddamn Kaya and you wasn't able to read no goddamn body. So now that's another dream and another you know, you have put yourself on some type of fucking platform that you were quiet. You didn't speak to nobody, but you had a smart ass mouth. No, you were sitting back judging every fucking body. You thought you were better than everybody. You didn't speak to people because they didn't fuck with you. And when you did, you probably sound weird and, 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 and just judgmental because you set yourself apart. You thought that you were better than the rest of the kids when really you stand out and stood out because you you had this mentality about yourself, but it, it didn't fit the bill. You you looked funny. You had, you know, patent leather Tommy Hilfiger shoes on and people clowned your ass. That switch would that switch would fuck you up. Boy, please. That switch would mess you, you up. You think too highly of yourself. And I can you see right like, well, through your the fake ass. ass. I can't help if you're not intelligent enough to catch what I'm throwing. Intelligent like, enough. For real, for real. She don't like all that hollering. Like, over the years, I distinctly remember us being in restaurants. And she like, she don't shut that mother baby up. I'm trying to eat shit. Like, I. That's his mother he's talking about. She didn't like kids. That's why she didn't have enough Same kids. thing with uh with my old man. He like everybody. <laughs> his child. His child. Mm -mm. Anybody else kids he loved. They, 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 but no, seriously. So everybody else kids his dad loved, but not him. Like, Storm is weird. He grew up weird. His parents did not love him. He's weird. And I don't know if he's the shit he think he's saying is, is sounding, making himself sound cool or making himself sound like he's some high class nigga. But you sound like you were unloved and your parents were weird. 
though uh, my mom wanted to, but she had rules. Um, couldn't have different dads, couldn't be more than 10 years apart. Once my daddy started acting up, she was like, no baby. And then my mother is just not a breeder. Some of you, uh, some women are just like, you sneeze on them, they get pregnant. Now you hear that shit? Now this nigga's talking about black women. All you got to do is sneeze on them and they get pregnant. His mom, though, she wasn't a breeder. She, you know, the rest of y'all though, you sneeze on y'all motherfuckers and y'all got three or four kids. Do you hear this man? This man is shading black people. He does not think he is black. He thinks he is some type of high class black sedity nigga. And all of us black people, we are, we, we, we breed babies. We don't read. We're ghetto. But this y'all storm chaser, leader. <laughs> tell you they this felt more weird. neglected by me if i was to ever have a family therapy session because i just really didn't trip off of them like oh oh i gotta go to work oh okay bye like i was just kind of just kind of cold as a kid so sing union i remember that too that's why like a lot of people don't get to because by me being the only child even though like my mom didn't make a heck of a lot of money Listen at this dumb I mean, shit. It was nothing for me to have the games I wanted to have. It was just because when you only have one, you can do more than if you have like two, three, or four. I've never shared. I've never had a hand me down. So <laughs> I, I was still blessed at the end of the day. <laughs> now, what the fuck this nigga think that black people, oh, you never shared, you never had a hand me down. A lot of people never shared or had a hand me down, and they still they had brothers and sisters. What do who the fuck do you think you are? You are do you realize that the things you say out your mouth could be very offensive? But if people get up here and they drag your ass, then you got your fans coming to your rescue trying to drag me when I'm just simply pointing out this whack ass shit that you just got up here and said and thought you was doing something and them bitches is in the comments actually feeding you this shit and laughing and grinning with you and you're shading them you don't call them breeders they breed like cockroaches as soon as you sneeze on them they're pregnant like y'all y'all can have him i was still blessed like how many people can say they've never had a hand-me-down They've never had to share, never had to share a room with a sibling. Um, even when it comes to like food, it was always like, okay, what you want to eat? So like, what you think? Nobody, black people, we don't, we, we don't, we're not able to give our kids what they want to eat. Oh, oh, we just eating pork and beans and hot dogs and oodles and noodles while your high sedity ass over there eating lobster tails and shrimps. Is oh what you want to eat, honey? Newsflash: We all are able to ask our kids what do what do they want to eat. We you know they they may not have to share their room with siblings. Some of us have four bedroom houses, five big. What the fuck is on your mind? That tells me no. It was the complete opposite. Your ass was poor, and your mom she did the best she could to make you feel like you were loved and had enough because she couldn't afford to give you everything everybody else had. Because if she had your ass in Tommy Hilfiger shoes, that tells me a lot right there about your upbringing. What you want to eat? And whatever I wanted is what I got. And I guess we don't do that with our children. Black people don't do that. You over there eating lobster tails and shrimps and our kids is eating All that like noodles. sharing and... Look, and all that sharing. <laughs> Listen, I do what I want. Listen, shut your fucking ass up. I don't need, you make I don't me want to just slap the questions. shit well, out of mm -hmm. you. You still supposed to play this interview? I wish I never did. That's all I can say on it. So now, and then that part right there, he was saying that he wish he never did the interview with Jaguar Wright because you know the whole thing with that is, you know, he's the big blogger and he's got the hundred and fifty some thousand subscribers, and now Jag is out in these streets talking to everybody, you know, because she's like fuck Tasha and Storm, they did me dirty. She, I don't want to be a part of that bullshit over there. So now he feels as though he should have never fucked with her to begin with. But that's that shady shit, you know. Now that you don't used her up and got the clicks and views and got everything you need from her, now you wish you never interviewed her. Mm. 
This nigga is whack, weird, um, and y'all can have him. I am done. I wish I can build my channel, but just audio videos only. Is that a service you can help with? Yeah, I charge two hundred for a consultation. Why do you think? And who is he to be charging two hundred dollars for a YouTube consultation? And if y'all motherfuckers is giving him two hundred dollars for a YouTube consultation, y'all need to be slapped the shit out of. All you have to do is Google, go on YouTube, and figure out how and and, and put in the search results how to build a YouTube channel. You do not need to pay no goddamn storm two hundred dollars to tell you how to build a YouTube channel. He can't give you personality. He cannot give you talent. He can only give you tips and tricks on how to build your channel and put how to tell you what to put in screens and different things that anybody can just Google. But again, that's the hypersensualism that him and Tasha have created on YouTube that makes people think that it is something great and special that YouTubers are somehow doing and we are somehow set apart from other people and nobody else can do this. It's something that is abnormal. Only smart people can do it. Boy, buy. And these dumb asses is trying to figure out how they can get $200 to him for him to charge them a goddamn fee for a consultation. Oman has ill feelings for you. I, I don't know that man. Yeah, yo, I wish everybody the best. I reported on him, so I opened that Pandora's box. I just gotta take what come out of it. And I will own my part and say there was one thing I did where I took it too far. It's one thing to roast, but I one thing I did, I took it too far. And that's why I took it down. So I'm not going to lie in front. So, um, but it's all good. And I, <laughs> and when them damn Tasha rumors started, this is how I know. This is how I know. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I found funny because it was sent to me. <laughs> when all that shit started and y'all thought like, yeah, I was mad about her taking an interview, whatever, which I call taking an interview. He even gave me sympathy. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> he even gave me, he's even giving me sympathy. I'm like, okay. So it was like, okay, I haven't made total enemy. Like it's, it's entertainment. That right there got to me. Even he got, <laughs> hell no. Nah. So now, I'm telling Armand, you don't know me, but if you take your ass over there with Storm after all the shit that he put you through with Tasha and all the shit that he shaded and did, please don't take your ass over there. I don't see why he thinks that it is somehow okay for him to get up here and say, basically he's saying, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I hadn't did all of that. I got my 158,000 subscribers. It's not all what it's cracked up to be. I'm still the same person. It, it was just, I fed into the hype and I wish I never did it. You went over there and sat at the Mean Girl table. You went over there with Tasha and did all that fucked up shit when you could have been with Sean or mine. You could have grew organically like everybody else, but you did that bullshit. Why? Because you've been doing it your whole life. You've been shading kids black people your whole life you think you're better than black the average black man black person period so that's why it was okay for you to do what you did to Armand and roast and gag and do all that to try to climb up the ladder because you like you said you've been social climbing your whole life because you don't like people this boy is basically telling y'all who the fuck he is and what he's about right here in this video. And if y'all keep following him and y'all keep feeding into this shit, then there's something wrong with y'all. He, oh, I'm okay. I'm done now. I'm done teasing. I'm done. I'm done dragging. I'm sorry. I, I'm wrong. Forgive me. You know, it, it's, it's no big deal now. So now people just supposed to drop it because you feel like the hype is, it, it, it ain't shit really. You wanted that fucking YouTube shit so bad. Now that you got it, it's really not shit. You see, it ain't really nothing. You still the same person. Yeah, you got a little notoriety and a little coin, but it ain't make you still, you're still lonely. Look at you. You're lonely speaking to a camera full of women that don't, you don't even have a social life. 
What about other YouTubers? Did you man? That's it's so old. It's Look, so now old, it's just but... so old. Mm -mm. Was it old? I'm... Was it old and just nothing? And it, it's just so old. It's so done. Was it old and done when you was pushing to get this hundred k? And when y'all was sabotaging people and striking people channels and doing all this shit? Was it old and shit then? When it's fair use, people could use clips and all of that in fair use. You had no intention of suing, suing and y'all struck Nosy's channel and, and, and crippled her from being able to go live and shit like that when you knew damn well you wasn't suing her or nothing like that. But it's just, it's just old. It's just, y'all are constantly doing shady shit to people. But now you starting to feel because you're going to therapy and you Tasha's over there driving your ass crazy with all the underlining shit and undermining. She got your ass wrapped up in bullshit ass contracts. You can't move left or right. You can't even really talk no shit. Somebody asked you about her case. Now, you know, I can't talk about that. Why can't you? Y'all standing talking about Kelsey and Megan and them ain't really talking and saying shit. Y'all get up here and don't really say shit. Y'all shade each other on the low, didn't say y'all ain't having no issue and all of this. Yes, the fuck you are. You and Tasha done fell the fuck out. You wish you hadn't even went over there with her, but you wanted YouTube so bad that you shaded people that could have been your Learn friend. my lesson. I, I ain't gonna lie, I used it for what it was. Like a, See, let me he I keep, used I keep it for what it was. About me. And you're gonna figure it out the longer you stick around. I might not always have the best judgment in decisions, but I know just when to stop doing something and just want to move on. Like my intuition is just like, oh, this is over. Oh, this is old. We move on to something else. Like I just and people be like, but no, nah, you just you can't do you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I sure can. I used it and moved on. It's a way you got to do. It. You can't stay stuck in it like old like old boy that drags me. Sean, I'm saying his name. I don't care. I don't hate the guy. Um. His stuff is good. Like Sean's show, uh, Sean David Way, go subscribe. His show is good. It's funny. But I'm like, damn, he making some of the same mistakes I did. It's like, don't get stuck in that because it gets old so quick. So now it gets old so quick. Don't get stuck in it. Sean Davy Way, go subscribe to him. Now, he couldn't even say the word subscribe. He said, Sean Davy Way, go, go subscribe. You know, he, he's good. His stuff is good. First of all, you already knew Sean. You knew Sean when y'all both, you know, when you first got on YouTube. Y'all used to talk. Y'all was on panels and everything. So don't get up here and act like you did not know him. You have as sent people to go subscribe go sub you didn't even say the word subscribe you barely said the word subscribe there's the shade right there but people supposed to oh storm he's ready to apologize he regrets the things that he's done he regrets going over there with tasha and being an ass kisser for views clicks likes and subscribers but now that storm has woken up and seen tasha for the fake fraud that she is now he's ready to patch things up with sean patch things up with our mind let me tell y'all i can't tell y'all what to do i can't tell y'all not to kiss and make up but sean and our mind if y'all believe this bullshit then you know y'all not as real as i thought y'all was because this is full of shit storm is full of shit he is thinks he is set apart from the black race he somehow believes that if you sneeze on a black woman, she's going to have a bunch of goddamn kids. But his mom wasn't a breeder. His mom, you know, all she had to do was just she didn't want kids 10 years apart. Now, if she was sending you to shoot school and these Tommy Hilfiger sneakers, then I don't, I, I, I see why you was being teased at school. Because, honey, we don't send our children to school in no Tommy Hilfiger shoes. Okay? So, I'm going to need you to stop getting up here talking about how you wore Tommy Hilfiger shoes before they was out. Because we don't, that's not something that we wear. 
We don't wear Tommy Hilfiger shoes and we don't send our children to school with Tommy Hilfiger shoes on. And the fact that the kids teased you about that is because you're supposed to have on some Jordans. And it doesn't, it, nothing kills me like a nigga that thinks he's better than somebody and really ain't worth a damn. So Stormisha, I'm trying to find these leather patent leather Tommy Hilfiger shoes that your mother sent you to school in. And I think I found them. Honey, I think these are the ones. Let me see. Let me share this screen real quick. Storm, we don't send our children in school in these type of shoes, honey. If these is the shoes that your mom had you going to school with, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I'm sorry, mm-mm. Let me see, I'm trying to get that image. Oh, oh. Oh no. Is these the shoes, y'all? Look at them. Now, if your mom sent you to school and these Tommy Hill figure shoes, and you said these you was wearing these before they was out, these shoes ain't never been out. No black child in America has ever worn these shoes to school. If they did, they was considered bobos, they was teased because they were in the in the back alley of um what was it? Uh TJ Maxx. Or Value City. Um, I don't even think they had these at JC Penney. So I feel sorry for you if this is what your mom was sending you to school in. And I can see why the kids was teasing you because this is just not it. This is just not it. So if y'all are going to, you know, go back over there with Storm. I don't think that that would be the, you know, the thing to do because Storm, you know, he made his bed and he needs to just lay in it. He over there talking to a camera at night when he should be out with his friends. He should be somewhere. He's a young man. He should be somewhere hanging with his friends. But this is again, this is somebody that shading the black race. He's up here talking about he don't even fuck with people. He don't even like people. And y'all giving him clicks and views over there, lusting after him, telling him he look good and his beard is growing and it's shiny and all this shit. Storm is a is full of shit. Y'all drop down in the comments, drop down and let me know what you think about Storm. Y'all go over there and watch that whole video because he left it up. He wants everybody to see it. He wants our mom to see it. He wants Sean to see it. Sean talked about it on his channel as well. He wants them to see it because, you know, he's basically trying to apologize. But if I was them, I wouldn't even be giving his ass the time of day. You made your bed hard, then you need to lay in it. Go get you a white friend. Go get you somebody that's not ghetto, that, do, that don't know they did, that knows they daddy. Because, you know, us over here, we don't know our daddies. I'm so sick of people shading the black community, you know, when children are growing up in the single parent homes. You know, it's not like it's their goddamn choice. Some of their fathers is going to jail, you know, for drugs. And some of them are, are innocent, are in jail, locked up for life for crimes they didn't even commit. And you up here talking about, oh, you must know your daddy. Didn't, ain't no fucking black boy said no shit like that to your gay ass. Now come out and just say, you know, I'm gay. I like men. It's nothing wrong with it, Storm. It's nothing wrong with it. You smacking your lips, rolling your neck, doing all of that. No heterosexual boys, black little boys talk like that. Now, I have seen that in my life with little boys that turn up to be gay. That's how they talk. That's how they acted when they was little. And if that was you, that's just you. You need to learn to like yourself and come to grips with who you are because it is apparent you do not like yourself and you do not like who you are. So... I'm going to get up off your ass. I'm done with your ass. But I just had to come by and let you know what I thought about your little video and your little venting session. Because some of the shit that you said, it just it just rubbed me the wrong way. I'm not a bully. I'm not here to bully nobody. But the truth is the truth. And I just had to speak it. So y'all head on over to the Sweet Pea Diaries. We're going to air it over here. Make sure you subscribe to the backup channel. It is Sweet Pea Talks. I mean, I'm sorry, Sweet Pea Speaks.
and I'll holler another night. Bye. Good night.